Welcome to Malo's Jet Ski Rentals. Uh, we appreciate your business. Uh, we want to go through a few key safety things on the ski here before we send you out on the river. First off is the start stop switch. Uh, it's a safety lanyard to be worn on your left wrist at all times. Okay? If you fall off the ski, it shuts off. Okay? Green is start, red is stop. The ski does not even operate unless the key is engaged under like so. Okay? Like I said, green is start, red is stop. Opposite side here is the throttle, two finger throttle. You pull it, it accelerates. Okay? There's no brakes on the ski, so you have to anticipate ahead of time. Don't come ripping in, expect to stop from here to the sign over there because it won't work. You have to anticipate ahead of time. Throttle also must be giving it gas in order to turn. The ski will not turn unless you give it gas. No gas, no turn. The river, as you're riding up and down the river, uh, the authorities, Coast Guard, Nevada Fishing Game, Arizona Fishing Game, Bullhead Police Department, they want you to stay towards the right-hand side of the river going up, right-hand side going down, just as if it was a highway. If you stay in the middle of the river, you're in the neutral zone, so you're safe going either direction. Important, three feet or more whenever you operate the ski. Less than that, it's gonna suck up rocks, damage the impeller, cost you money. Best thing to do is have your passengers on, push out, climb on, then start it up and go. Again, three feet or more whenever you operate the ski. All in front of Harrow's is a five mile an hour no wake zone. You must do five miles an hour through there. If you don't, you go ripping through there. They're gonna stop you, write you a ticket. I believe it's like over a hundred bucks for exceeding a wakeless speed. So remember, in front of Harris, no wake zone. It's the law to stay a hundred feet away from boats, docks, crossings. Uh, what I'm getting at is uh, jumping wakes. Say me and two of my friends are gonna go out on two other skis. What you do not wanna do is go close, try to spray them, joust them, get them wet. You wanna stay away from everybody, everything. Before you turn, do any kind of maneuvers, you wanna make sure you look over your shoulders, just as if you were driving down the freeway. One minute you look over your shoulders, there's not gonna be nobody there. Next minute, there's gonna be somebody there. So make sure that you do pay attention to what's going on around you. Look over your shoulders before you do any kind of turns or maneuvers. Real important. You fall off the ski, the ski turns upside down in the river. You both are gonna be in the water, the ski's gonna be upside down, floating upside down down the river. What you're gonna to need to do is swim to the rear of the ski. Place a hand on each outside corner. Push down with your right, up with your left, rotate the ski clockwise right side up. There's also a sticker diagram on the back of the ski that shows you exactly how to do it. Remember, this must be done quickly. If the ski stays upside down in the river, it's gonna fill up with water, swamp the ski, then we've got a problem. Once it's right side up, you folks, you're gonna be in the water. The ski's gonna be right side up. You're gonna wanna board from the rear of the ski, okay? You wanna place a hand here, climb up from the back of the ski. You try to climb over the side of the ski, you're gonna flip right back over and you're gonna have to start all over again. So remember, deep water, you want to get up from the back of the ski, climb up, scoop forward, get clicked in, and then wait for your passenger to get on. Another important rule from uh, all the authorities, police, fishing game, don't drink alcohol while you're operating a uh, watercraft. No drugs, no alcohol. They do carry breathalyzers with them, and if they look at you and think you're intoxicated, they'll give you a breathalyzer, you blow, you're going to jail. We get our ski back, you have a lot of problems. So basically, stay away from the alcohol, stay away from the drugs, everything will be good and you'll have a good time. If you have some kind of problem out there, a mechanical failure, the ski breaks down, uh, you get into an accident, uh, something happens where you need our assistance, the phone number is located on the front of the ski, Malo's Jet Ski Rental, give us a call. If it's an emergency where people are hurt, you need to call 911. Okay, so I think I basically covered everything uh, about your rental here. Uh, our main thing is we want you to be safe out there, have fun, enjoy yourself, and we'll see you when we pick you up.